Hello there tankers and tankettes, this is Iron Lord Me coming at you with another replay cast. Um, in this episode we're looking at the IS-4 and doing something that I would definitely not recommend doing at home in World of Tanks. So in today's episode uh, we're going to be playing the IS-4 doing the stock gun HE only challenge. Now um, the reason I'm, I'm doing this again not something I would recommend because it is really really freaking stupid to do in World of Tanks. Um, however uh, since I challenged good old Renegade Central to do it, uh, I thought, you know, it's only fair and supportive that I do it as well. So, the whole point of this challenge is to use the IS-4 using the stock D5T 122mm gun, using only HE, which at tier 10 is a very bad idea, uh, as you only have uh, 530 average alpha damage, which, well, quite good, combined with 61mm of pen is rather very poor. So, the point is, um, in this challenge, is to survive the battle, do at least 3k combined damage and just like I say just try not to uh, be a handicap for your team so um, here we are we are on Hel El Haluf obviously it's a tier 10 game because we're playing the IS-4 which uh, again like I say is probably already not the best sort of it tier 10 heavy and uh, in this configuration it's even freaking worse uh, but like I say the whole point is to see what we can do with this really shoddy setter and um, of course, you know, just try to maximise our combined damage as part of this challenge and survive the battle. And it will also help if we win as well. Um, so the rules of this challenge, like I say, do 3k combined, use the stock gun, use the HE only. Uh, in regards to equipment, you can use whatever equipment you want. And uh, in terms of crew skills, again, use whatever crew you wish to use. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, and here we are. So on El Valu, pushing the corner here, just seeing what we can do. Uh, again, you know, sticking out on gun up in the air for Soviet salute because hey, it's a Soviet tank, why not, why not? And I see a very, very juicy target that I really want to shoot at, which is a Waffenträger Panzer IV. Um, the reason I want to shoot that, because again, it's something I can easily pen and do full damage to, uh, which is rather mean. But um, first of all, I see the M48A2 pattern uh, hybrid. Um, I get trot into his side, still only 115 damage. I was hoping I could pen it because the sides and that thing is fairly weak. He gets taken out. I need to take a snapshot of the Waffle Dragon Panzer IV. Miss because of the garbage gun handling on this on this gun. Like I say, I would never recommend. However, he's ignoring me. I pull the aim and get a nice 500 plus damage roll into him. Also get some assistance as well because it looks like I did track the uh, pan hybrid. So I've got 400 assistance there. And then I see a juicy 50 120. Again, I miss again because of the garbage gun handling. And at this point in time, I just go screw it, full YOLO and I try to pursue the 50 or um, reason for it is because I know the 50 has an extremely thin side armor so if I can get a side pen um, again I can do rack up a lot of damage fairly quickly however this gun is really going to troll the crap out of me so I fire again, miss um, and then I reload he, he dukes me which is fair enough I fire a shot into his rear and only do 120 damage so like I say to say not recommended and uh, well like I say at this point I see juicy damage um, I'm not really playing to the best of my ability because I'm just like, like saying, just me full memeing at this point. Normally I would never do this. And I push down on the 120 splashing his engine deck for 200 damage. He fires at me, bounces, and at this point in time, I, I, I consider myself extremely lucky because I should be 100% clipped out by this guy right now. Um, pen him again for 156, well, say splash him again, pen him again, more of a splash. And um, again, with that in mind, I again just keep trying to keep the pressure on him. Uh, at the same time, trying not to get clipped out, which is rather difficult to achieve uh, when I play this badly. But like I said, that's the whole point of this challenge: is to use this thing, which is not optimal at all, and just to see what you can pull off of it. Um, so at the moment, uh, we're on a 1,300 uh, assist, 1,400 damage. So we're just shy of that 3k command target, and we have taken a beating, which is. Uh, again, going to make it pretty close to comfort if I want to survive this battle. Um, you can actually get a full pen there with the HE, doing 367 damage. Which again, nothing special considering I would have done about 440 damage uh, if I was using the top gun or even 390 for the AP of the stock gun. Though, like I say, never use stock gun because you don't need to use it on the ice floor. You pretty much have the top gun fully unlocked straight away. But hey, uh, like I say, this is a meme, a meme battle and a meme challenge. So, like I say, not, not something I would do in an ordinary circumstance. But for hey, I can't challenge him to do something that I wouldn't do, uh, so that's why I decided to obviously do this challenge. So, um, at this point in time, I'm sitting on 3k combined, so I've pretty much hit this, my uh, damage goals, but I want to see how far I can take this. I bounced a shot from the side there, uh, not too sure from what we're from. Um, hit T62 there, do a little bit extra damage there, he gets tracked, and then I see the Udes. Now, the 
the Udes uh, 14 Alt 5 or Alt 4. Uh, I know that has extremely thin side armor, so again, that's something that if I can hit it and hit the flush, that's a lot of damage there. But this gun is just going to troll the ever living crap out of me, given the fact that it is, like I say, the, the same crappy D5T 122 that um, you wouldn't really use past tier 7. Um, in fact, you know, it's it's kind of a hard choice to use at tier 7 anyway, uh, given the fairly derpy gun handling. But like I say, even though you can prove that 6.0, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's still rather bad. Um, see Crown Vargan up there. Um, try to shoot and maybe splash him to get the kill, and I would do 22 damage, because Crown Vargan has an extremely thick portal turret, and like I say, what the hell was I thinking? Uh, but, you know, uh, I'm on like 3.5 combined da damage, so it's, it's not too bad. Hit the uh, Udez there for just sub 200 damage again. I'm trying to get the flush shot on him, but like I said, this gun is just going to troll the ever crap out of me. Bounce another shot there from the STG. Luckily, the STG uh, isn't aiming for my lower plate or aiming flush, so I'm just bouncing shells left, right, and center. Udez fires at me and bounces. I try to fire back and bounce, or actually miss the snapshot uh, there with the HE, because like I say, <laughs> problem is we're using this gun, not only does it have lower velocity anyway on the standard shells, it has even lower velocity with the HE, so um, yeah, not not recommended, like I say, do not try this at home, though like I say, if, if you do want to attempt this, and uh, again, just show me your results, look at it, you other CCs out there, <laughs> you know, if you choose to accept this challenge, uh, you know, it's all good, but um, fire again, and you does miss again, because this gun is absolutely crap. Uh, I fire again, at that time I only hit for again sub 200 and 190 and uh, like I said I reload again and just see what we can pull off. Um, again like I say I'm pretty much fairly low health for this entire point in this battle but um, I'm just going to see what we can pull off and uh, just, just to clarify at this point in time we're sitting on 2.5k damage, 1.4k assist which is rather nice. Um, take a shot there, actually hit the Udez for once and that was a full pen into 340 damage which is rather nice so that takes the damage hole up to now to uh, 2.9k um, with of course a 1000 point assistance now i feel kind of bad for this SDG here because he's getting trolled by what i believe is um the t 50 lightweight so yeah i kind of feel guilty about shooting this dude but hey uh, it's water tanks you know you need to get damage where you can and since the game's pretty much over i don't think it really makes much of a difference who I shoot for, but um, I do get a nice shot into him there. Um, now on 3k combined, oh sorry, 3k damage, 2.4k assist uh, with 2k damage blocked, which is kind of nice. Um, and I'm down to 6 HE round, which again is not the best uh, thing to be on. Uh, <laughs> but like I say, um, given this game is effectively over now, um, I've done pretty much just over 5k combined, uh, so currently about 5.5k. Uh, which is actually rather nice and um, again given the fact that I'm pretty much handicapping myself using the HE on the start gun uh, at tier 10 um, you know it's pretty nice now T54 lightweight commit seppuku because I, I guess he just wants his life to be over and wants to get it to the next battle not again kind of a douche move but hey it's water tanks and uh, I try to take a sneaky snapshot there as the STG but he gets wiped out by the Udez in front of me which is fine um, again you know again uh, I pretty much hit the damage goals and to be honest I'm kind of happy to just survive this battle with this sort of performance given that I've effectively screwed myself over this battle. Uh, Team 92 will go down shortly to my teammates and that is pretty much the end of the battle. So given that's the end of the battle um, and the fact that I pretty much screwed myself, um, you see how we did. So it was a victory uh, which is rather good. Second, oh, second place MVP. Uh, 2 kills, 3,777 uh, damage, 2,497 assists, uh, 60 hits, yep, uh, so that was rather nice, uh, with a steel wall confederate and a first class, uh, so yeah, uh, just shows what you can do even with a retarded setter, but hey, uh, it's World of Tanks, and like I say, that is pretty much the end of this video, um, so like I say, thank you very much for watching, I uh, hope you uh, like and subscribe, make sure to follow other content creators out there, uh, if you like my content and at the same time make sure to follow my twitter and you know get in touch with the community discord and yeah that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed and at the same time as well uh challenge goes out there to any other cc that wants to attempt this uh just show you what your results are uh sorry no prizes up the grabs because i'm broke at the moment but hey you know it's just something to do when you're bored in world of tanks but anyway take care guys keep on talking and enjoy